Hi, this is Sean from bestnlpnewyork.com. You can visit us on Facebook at NLP and Hypnosis Resource. In today's three minute NLP, where if you give us three minutes, we'll teach you some important principle of NLP, we're going to be talking about the time maze pattern. You see, in NLP, we often talk about time as being a line, a timeline. For some people, the past stretches behind them and the future in front of them. For other people, the past is on their left and the future is on their right. Everybody organizes time in a slightly different way. But if you think about it, timeline is a bad metaphor for time, especially the future. If you think about the future, it's less like a line and more like a maze, a time maze. And if the future is like a maze, we can use tools and techniques to navigate mazes to reach our goals in the future. Now the first tool, if you want to navigate a maze, is to know where you're going to, to know your outcome, to know your goal. And in NLP we talk about outcomes being well formed, meaning, firstly, that they're stated in the positive. We say what we want, not what we don't want. Secondly, they're specific as to time and what we will see and hear and feel when we achieve them. Thirdly, that, you're, that it's within your control. And finally, that it's worthwhile and it's ecological if you look at your entire life. If you set goals in this way, they'll act like a beacon, like a lighthouse, drawing you in the right direction. The second point is to ask yourself, where are you starting from? To give yourself a realistic assessment of where you are right now. It doesn't mean that you're stuck there, but it's good to know where you're starting from if you're aiming for a goal. The third trick is to have a map. Now a map is simply information. For example, you may be watching this video on YouTube. There's lots and lots of great information, lots and lots of great maps on YouTube that can guide you towards your goals. The next trick is to look out for landmarks. This is particularly important because it lets you know if you pay attention what's working for you and sometimes more importantly what's not working for you so you don't have to repeat your mistakes. The next trick is to be like Theseus. Theseus entered the labyrinth to fight the Minotaur and found his way out again by following a string. If you can follow somebody who's already reached your goal, you can find yourself achieving your outcomes much more easily. And in NLP, this is called modeling. The next trick is to always turn right. What does that mean in terms of NLP? It means to follow your values. Your values are those things that are most important to you. If you know what those are, and you always ask yourself, does this decision support my values, you'll find yourself moving in the right direction. Finally, if all else fails, follow your inner child. Follow your wisdom, your intuition. It will very often take you in the right direction. If you use all these tricks, it will take you towards your goal. We can't talk about how to do these in detail right now, but if you want more information, visit our website, bestnlpnewyork.com, or come to our workshop, Advanced Timeline Techniques, where we talk about the time maze and many other patterns. That's all we've